Ends clean, good enough. Quick live stream after a 60, 60 mile day, pedaling, mostly pedaling, <laughs> the Hemingway Cruise Electric bike. 60 miles is a long way. I've never been 60 miles. The furthest I've ever gone on a bicycle, ever, was like 22 miles, and that was like four days ago. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't that bad. There were some struggles. I would say the biggest struggle was probably my rear end. That was a little, that was a little, uh, get, get a little tender near the end of it, but that's okay. Um, I mean, I made it fine, but now I'm just curious because I have to go back tomorrow, 60 miles. And I wonder how it's going to be when I sit on the bike in the morning or, whew, it could be challenging. But this is the bike real quick. I kind of, it's not really set up in like, you know, pedaling or going mode, whatever, traveling mode. But, I mean, I just have gear all over because I'm here at camp, right here at Vortex Springs. I was free diving a little bit earlier in my new wetsuit, and that was fantastic. I really enjoyed that. Um, but, yeah, this is the setup. I mean, everything worked pretty well. Uh, if I had to change anything, I I'd like to strive to try and, you know, just get some better bags on here and you know throughout the day i was thinking and there are certainly some ways to improve the storage capacity on this bike um <clears throat> because i had to you know haul a lot of stuff in my backpack today and that's just not i don't know i mean i it was it was my lightweight stuff i had like my wetsuit my uh under quilt and top quilt for the hammock and i had my jacket and just a few lightweight, some lightweight stuff. But I also had my water bladder, which eh, I, I need a better way to do that. I mean, or just a place to mount some water bottles or something. Uh, but I mean, other than that, I mean, everything went really well. But there are some different options where you can kind of spruce this thing up or spruce any bike up. But what I'm trying to avoid is the big side saddlebags because I learned today that aerodynamics are pretty important and if you have a headwind or even if you're you know, picking up speed going down a hill you know, the faster you go the more the wind has an effect on your speed you know the more you're a parachute slowing yourself down and there's actually i watched some videos on youtube about uh, people doing studies on how much uh, different things that you put on a bike affect it aerodynamically and the side saddlebags or panniers those are one of the big thing that can really slow you down so i'm trying to avoid those i did have some stuff strapped to the side but it was it was small minuscule minuscule stuff I, why can't i see if there's people is there really no one here that that never happens why is that i guess i guess no one's here <laughs> it's probably youtube he probably unsubscribed everybody and i was not sending out notifications but whatever uh, and then here's my my hammock set up right here my MC and Hammocks Grizzly, and I'm going to be using my uh, Hammock Gear 30 degree down under quilt, full length Econ quilt. I love that thing. And I'll be using my East Hills Outdoors top quilt along with a sleeping bag of liner to lay in there and sleep nicely tonight. And I am going to sleep well. I have a feeling. Because, <laughs> man, today was a long day. I mean, I, I expended a lot of energy between pedaling 60 miles and free diving. Now, I know a lot of people are going to have questions about, okay, well, Trip, how did the battery do on the bike? That's probably the biggest question people have. But the battery did, I mean, fine. did really well. Like, I know, like, the first 30 miles, you no, know, the first 40 miles, I wasn't using much of the pedal assist, which is one of the modes to use the battery. You know, you can either pedal the bike without any assistance, or you can put on pedal assist, which helps you at certain speeds and helps you maintain certain speeds or you can do throttle only where you don't have to pedal at all well to start out i was doing zero pedal assist uh, but i was but i would only engage it on the hills and you know that was that was nice but i was only putting on level two so it only assisted me up to 10 mile an hour so like when i really slowed down going up a hill then it would kick in but then once i got to uh 40 miles i think i still had i had four out of five bars then and so I was like, you know what, let's let's kick this thing up a notch. So I kicked it up to a pedal assist level three, and that would assist me up to like 15 miles an hour. And then 
as we were getting closer, we were like 10 miles away. I was like, look, let's just get it. So I kicked it up to pedal assist level four, and we were maintaining 20, 21 mile an hour, even in some headwinds, and I wasn't pedaling very hard. But we did start, you know, punching through the batter. I think I, when I got here, I had two out of five bars left, which is pretty darn good. Uh, but now I'm just, you know, worried about tomorrow, or I ain't worried, but I'm just wondering about tomorrow and how much energy my legs are going to have and also how my uh, tush is going to feel because it gets tender. You know, I, I don't have a lot of experience, you know, or, you know, my rear is not broken in enough <laughs> uh, to not get sore while pedaling and sitting on that seat for an extended period of time. So we'll see how it does tomorrow. I mean, granted, you know, I knew I was going to be doing this trip like two weeks ago. So I started, uh, I'd go to the gym and I'd sit on a bike, you know, a stationary bike and I would pedal for like 30 minutes. And I probably did like that like four times. Then I took the bike out for like a 22 mile ride, um, like four days ago to try to condition myself, condition my rear. Uh, and, you know, I'm sure that helped a little bit, but it's probably not good enough. It's probably going to be pretty, pretty rough tomorrow because it was it was getting pretty rough today <laughs> it was getting pretty rough like you know every few minutes i'd have to stand up and boy it hurt when you stand up and you just oh, try to get some blood flow or i don't know get something moving back there and then just sit back down but <laughs> it was exciting I mean, it's a, it, you know, this is a new adventure experience for me i've never done this sort of thing before uh you know bike packing pedaling on a bike so I'm happy to be doing it. Um, you know, I really enjoyed it today overall. I mean, I'm, I'm eating a lot of food, a lot of food. I brought like, for like two days, I brought like 7,300 calories or something and I need to eat it all. <laughs> so I'm trying to eat it all because I don't want to lose any weight, but <clears throat> where was I going? What was I talking about? Pedaling my rear. I don't know what we'll to see how it goes tomorrow. Um, I may, you take a little bit longer breaks tomorrow, uh, you know, like pedal for 45 minutes to an hour, take a little break. I did find somewhere today where I could probably take a little break, plug in, get a little extra juice so I don't have to pedal as much tomorrow. That would help. Mm. So about two hours in, I may take a, a long break <laughs> and steal some juice. Yeah, probably going to try that. But I got to charge the bike up tonight, and we'll be good. Hmm. I wonder why YouTube isn't putting folks in the in the live chat. I don't know. I don't see anybody. Like, I see zero people, zero thumbs up, nothing in the chat. What well, a pretty easy live stream. <laughs> hmm. It was nice to dig it, able. Ooh, it was nice I was able to some in the spring today and it was beautiful and awesome and huge and very nice at vortex springs and when i came in and got a shower that was nice <laughs> i mean the water was hot the showers weren't the cleanest but whatever something nice and fresh you know which which feels good yeah i like being fresh and i rinsed all my my salty cycling clothes from today mm. they were salty like whenever I stopped riding, you know, with riding with a helmet, I start like after I dried off from sweat, I went to wipe my face beer and it was and like literally it looked like someone just took a salt shaker and just shook it on my hand. I was like, good gracious, that had a bunch of salt coming down the side of my face. I've never had that before. <laughs> Pretty interesting. And I'm just curious <laughs> what the people in the park office thought when I was in <laughs> salt all over my face. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I wonder if it shows up on video, too. <laughs> All right. It's a pretty quick live stream for you guys. Although, I don't see anybody here, so whatever. I'm going to turn it off. Maybe I'll go try Instagram, see if anybody's on there. I want to chit-chat. I like chatting with you folks. Oh, speaking of chatting, I do. Uh, I started a new app with patrons over on Patreon called volley so we're like video chatting back and forth it's kind of like a um kind of like snapchat ish but there's like rooms and channels essentially and it doesn't delete the chat so you can go back and watch the conversation people can 
ask questions about things. We can discuss, you know, you can post a little video, post a little video, post a little video of an answer, a question, question, answer, blah, blah, blah. It's pretty cool. Uh, but I do like engaging with you folks. But if you guys are interested in Patreon and supporting the channel, I'd really appreciate it. Even a dollar a month. If 10% of my audience is a dollar a month, mm, that'd be amazing. All right, folks. I reckon I'll just, I don't know. I'll just see y'all later. Hope y'all enjoy this adventure when it comes out. And I sure hope I'm not hurting too bad tomorrow. But you know what? I'm not too good to call my wife or my mom and be like, look, y'all got to come get me. I ain't about to ride with all this pain. <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't too good to do that. <laughs> I don't want to, but you never know. <laughs> all right. See ya. If anybody's ever watching, hey, why can't I cancel this? There I can. Bye-bye.